right? So as always, I'm going to start with a minute of quiet. Starting in three, two, one. So, uh, just a few thoughts before I do the exercise. The exercise is uh, write a hundred questions, and then once you write the hundred questions, select the ten most powerful questions that come up on that uh, piece of paper, or that you think are the most powerful for you, and rank them in order from most powerful uh, down. So, I want to talk about. Productivity. You can have the intention to do something and you can really, really want it and say you want it and write it down. But it still might not get done. What I was wondering today was how can you decide either when one to uh, continue with an idea or let it go or notice when the idea is that you, you feel maybe it's going stale or not much progression is being made and for the first one if you're doing something and then maybe deciding whether to stick with it or not uh, the first thing that comes to me is why do you need to continue it right so if you don't feel the urge to do it and you're not intentionally writing down each day this is what I'm going to do for it uh, this is how I'm going to spend this amount of time uh, this is how often I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to learn this new skill that will help me with this thing. If you're not feeling these types of things and you're not writing these types of things, often it's a sign that maybe just taking a step back from it. Also, there is no... There is no dire circumstance in which... You can't, you can't just let go. You can. You can let go. It's totally fine. Like, allow yourself the space to not need to do it. It, it. Don't force yourself to do it. But a good way to notice if you're making, why you're not making progression on something is uh, each day or weekly, check, have a check-in with yourself. How often every day can you say, um, you wrote down your goal, you set a deadline, uh, you maintain the positive mindset and focus on the goal, develop the skill uh, set or a new thing that new acquired new knowledge that you needed in order to help you. Um, how often are you keeping Keeping with being curious, being interested, uh, how intensely, let's say from a scale of 1 to 10, would you say, or if you want a, check, uh, a checklist, 
and that tally up the checklist, do you feel like you're doing more towards the goal or do you feel like you're doing more, I wouldn't say against the goal, but not, not purposefully towards it? And this is a good indication because sometimes we say, oh, but I did this and I did this. Um, but it's sometimes easy to kind of look over the things that we did not do or what's the change from week to week. And that might also help to discover what for you makes you more efficient or productive either week to week, month to month uh, than before. So if you, if you start documenting your journey, you can get a visual of here's the week I was most productive, here's the week I was probably least productive, or day or month, however, what kind of, whatever kind of scale you'd like to measure on. But you can see visually, well, these are th- here's my checklist for, from, for this check-in, and here's my checklist for this check-in, the positive and the negative one, and see if anything is missing or that maybe you added that made it less productive or maybe you took away that made it more productive or vice versa. And one, it gives you a visual cue of your process versus keeping everything in here. I'll go back to the the, sh- the shortest pencil is longer than the longest memory. And it's honest. Once you write it down and you're honest with yourself, it's there. It can't be, you can't be, oh, but this, this, and this. It's... It's not something that you can change or manipulate in your head. Once you write it down, it's there. It's basically set in stone. So if if you feel like you're not interested in something or you feel like you, you're not making as much production on it as you want, uh, see if you can, over time, see what the contributing factors are. Um, if you also feel that you're losing interest or forcing yourself to do something, there's nothing wrong with leaving it alone for a few days or a week or a month. Um, Allow yourself the space to let go for a minute, to, to, to step back. Sometimes part of the journey it's not a straightforward line. People's like progression, 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 progression. But sometimes, giving your yourself the space to take a rest, take your eyes off it, stand away from it, seeing it from a new perspective, perhaps, is also a sign of progression. And I think, oh, for me, if I didn't see physical evidence that I was improving. It, it meant that I was failing in some way or, or falling short or, or not being as productive as I wanted. Um, I can also tell you now the reason why I've never come out with a musical m- music album is every day I didn't spend the time focused on that goal. I would, I would often just say the words and then I'd stop, and that's where the progression stops. So it's great that I want it in here, but I did not take any physical steps towards the goal. It was only after this year, after I started working on my health and uh, eating better, drinking better, these kinds of things, that I noticed that I would try to... when And all the times I would try to write something, set aside time for something, I would sit there and, and have all these constraints. I would like, I gotta write this kind of thing. It has, it has to sound like this, it, and it has to be X amount of uh, time long. And I put all these unnecessary restraints. I kind of, I, I wanted basically a very expert, experienced mind and body in, in, a, 
and something I was in all intents and purposes an infant something I never really put the skill and effort in and so I was pretty much setting myself up for failure this last year when I said I'm just going to play to play and whatever comes out comes out great and I'm not going to make it need to sound good for you um, change it to make it something that someone else would like or appeal to the masses I want it to make me happy and that was my goal um, and it wasn't every day. It was uh, like if I wanted to pick up the guitar on a Monday and I didn't pick it up until uh, I picked it up on Monday and then I didn't feel the need to pick it up until next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday or next month. I didn't do it. I didn't go, I have to do this. I would let myself naturally go to where it was and just play and just have some fun. It was basically a lot of zero drafts, but I didn't know that's what it was. Um, and in this last year, I've written close to nine songs, and I would say a majority of them are finished, and that's great. And today, I was I spent some time just I kept playing the same, the same few bars with the lyrics over and over again, and I was like, oh, what's the next? What's the next? And it wasn't coming out, and that uh, and. That was fine, and there was a few times where I tried to do it, and I tried to force it, but I didn't get frustrated that it wasn't coming out. I just kept playing. I just kept moving forward. I kept moving forward. I said, all right, got to do it again. All right, got to do it again. Got to do it again. And in between, there were a few times where I had an idea unrelated that I let my mind wander and go there. All that to say, it's okay to not see forward progression in the way I think a lot of us see it it's actionable and and physical evidence that you are making progress one one type of progress is being able to step back let go take a deep breath see things from a new perspective recharge and find a way to fall in love or interested again that doesn't feel like it's a force let yourself be and if you feel like you're not progressing on something visually look at your journey that hopefully you're documenting and if you're not start doing that and just see just do it to see where where your uh, factors align that get you to be productive and where your factors align that fall short now on to the exercise the exercise is writing a hundred questions that come to your head and I'm literally doing it right now I've never done this before and it's scary but it's also really fun the, that feeling so I'm going to start writing first question why am I scared can I really do it? What's my purpose? How can I make more money? Money. Be more stable. Be more stable. When will I complete my album? Let's put it here. Uh, how can I form better relationships? with people, people, with myself, what makes me productive, productive, what holds me back,
Will I feel the expansion when it happens? I'm, why am I itchy? <laughs> Um, what else can I ask? What else can I ask? What's the point? Why am I doing this? Can I continue being positive? What would it feel like? It feel like to be an endless. idea machine what's, what's the cure for cancer how can I put hold on negative thoughts negative or sabotage I like that word, sabotage. S sabotaging? Sabotaging. How can I put this? Halt. Negative. Stuff. Actions. Mm. Why do I judge people? Why do I judge people? Uh, why is my ego in control? Why am I afraid? Hmm. Yeah. Why is it so hard? <laughs> How can I be a better me to I need others to Think about me. Uh, healthier relationship with myself. Long term. What happens when I die? Um. Hey, happy birthday! Um, I said that because someone joined my live and it's their birthday. I think it was yesterday. If it was yesterday, happy birthday. I'm going to shut that off. Shut that off. Okay. So right now, I'm doing an exercise for 100, writing 100 questions, and then choosing the top 10 most powerful. Um, how do I come up? I come up with 100 questions. And I'm, I'm asking questions that 
are just in my head. I'm not using it as an excuse to kind of just sit here and think. So the moment it comes into my head, I'm writing it down. Mm. What are my blind spots? Where are my insecurities? What am I afraid of? What am I afraid of? What's my worst nightmare? Worst nightmare. What makes me the best me? Ooh, what do I like about myself? How can I tap into the best me? I tap into the best me. Um, how can I get out of my head whenever I want? Why do I make silly faces when I write? Silly faces when I write. All right, I'm gonna do a quick check, see how many words and how many things I got. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 33, 1, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Alright, so at 43. Holy shot. Wow. How did I get? How did I get? 43. 44. Um, okay. How can I be? I connect mind, body, and soul. What's my favorite smell? Smell. What's a powerful memory? What's a powerful memory? Ooh. What? Are my most traumatic? My most traumatic memories. Um, what are my happiest? My biggest regrets. my goals how did I not write that one down in with the first 50 questions what's my next step am I am I meant for more Is there a meaning? Am I special? Um, why do I touch my nose so much? Why do I touch my nose so much? Who, what, where? Where is my 
host detective space. Why do I hold on to my thoughts? Why can't I speak up at will? I hold it inside. Speak, how can I speak my truth? Um, why do I have a hero complex? Yep. Hmm. Why do I complicate things? I mean, I think Arrow of Venus said it best. Why do I make things so complicated? Um, <laughs> this is stupid. I'm not, I don't even, I, this is not a real question, but it came into my head, so I'm going to write it. How do I enter beast mode? Ooh, when am I going to do a meditation retreat? Retreat. Um, am I going to go on vacation? Am I going on vacation? Why can't I finish my song? Ah. That came out of nowhere. That should have come earlier, that's fine. Why am I judging that? So quick to judge, dude. Does it make you feel better? No. You feel better. When did you start judging? That's a good question. Oof. Judging. And speaking negatively. I hope this is an actual representation of sometimes you can just write things that come to your head and Maybe they're like silly questions or um, like, ah, I don't really need that question. But then you write it down and you get past it and you write some stuff that really does resonate with you. Like, whoa, there's a few of these questions that I, I would love the answer to. Didn't even think to ask when, when, when did I start judging myself and speaking negatively to myself? Wow, never I, I I feel like I tackled that indirectly or not as directly as that question, like and seeing that question. Oof. So keep writing, keep writing, keep writing, keep thinking, write it down, write it down. And things will come up. Things will come up. We'll put the gunk out, man. That's I think this is proof one oh one that that works. Woof, does that work? For me. Um I got distracted. Why did I get distracted? Uh, I gave myself a compliment. Did I just give myself a compliment? Huh. Compliment. Almost spelled that wrong. I think I actually did spell it wrong. It's fine. Is it though? Um, are we almost done? Almost done. Oh, why do you not care? Not care.
care how long this takes. I don't care. That's a great question. It'll it will be finished when it wants. That wasn't a question, but I wrote it anyway. Why? Because. What's outside? Ooh. Is there going to be... Is there going to be an art boom? Is COVID almost over? Will people sit close again? Will people touch as much? You rhymer. I feel like I have a hundred questions. Is that right? One, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, ninety, ninety-one. Is there really ten more questions? Oh, eight, seven more questions. Will I do this again? How much time did it take? What limits have I put on myself? Why? I'm not given a lot of my time to this before. Who am I? Do you love? And done. So after that, I'm going to go through this and pick 10 questions and putting, put them in order from most powerful down. And you can do this daily, weekly, monthly. It's a great thing to just get everything that's a problem or a question or something you're pondering out of your head and onto a piece of paper so that you can see it. It's the same thing with recording your journey in a way that you can always go back to and see what you did, how often you did it, how you did it, where you did it, why you did it. It, it just gives you feedback that I think we're always kind of looking for. Like, can you watch me do this thing? What do you think about this thing? Do it for yourself. Um, and see where you were most productive or you weren't um, and if you've taken any rest or step back from your process at all and we're going to end with a minute of quiet starting in three two one
So, as always, if you have any suggestions, feedback, uh, if you like this and you want to let me know, if you didn't, let me know too. If you didn't and you want to let me know, let me know. Um, if you want to join me, send me a message and we can do something together. And lastly, I want to thank myself for doing this. It's a lot of fun. I actually got some great questions out of this. And I hope you do too. Um, and I'm actually going to add one more. Ooh, extra credit. Uh, why am I? I so quick to put myself down. Now, but not praise. When I do something. And why did I not? Why did I not say all of the good things? All of the times I did. So, thanking myself for doing this. I had a great time. Um, I did yoga last night too. That was great. More praise. That's what I'm also getting. More praise. And true, true stuff. Things that I'm happy about doing. Give yourself that. Have a good day.